a Suzanne Halliburton, Austin American Statesman, James. What was the key, what were y'all doing today that was so effective on basically you were thwarting the um, OU rush, is, um, running game, especially from Jalen Hurts? Yeah, um, I mean, we know he's a great player, so we need to make sure we're in his face and kind of just making things chaotic and trying to take him out of the game. And uh, they made one more play than us, and, and our game plan didn't, it didn't end up working for us at the end of the game. But uh, we fought hard, and, and we tried our best. So we got a question on the front right side, and then we'll go to the left side. John Warner, Waco Tribune Hero. This is for Jordan. Um, uh, you saw Zeno and scout team all week. What made you think that maybe he could handle this situation? And uh, w what is it about him that you see? Uh, as a young guy, he's really mature. And so, uh, I mean, just seeing him, how he throws the ball on the scout team and how he kind of just throws to, like, receivers and they're just running made up plays like their plays and they're not running our plays. But just seeing how he throws the ball and just how he carries himself, he's going to be a pro. going to be a pro. Question on the front left. Yeah, Andrew Miner, 24-7. <coughs> Uh, Terrell, uh, could you take me through that, that play, and James, you can chime in uh, as well, but uh, where Hertz fumbled the ball and the ball kind of bounced off some people and ricocheted halfway across the field, um, and kind of how that was a turning point uh, for, for you guys in the first half to, um, I think it was 10 nothing at that point, it was a real turning point for you guys. Yeah, we went into that series knowing we needed kind of a turnover, uh, a momentum shift, and he came up with a big play, strip sack, and caused a fumble and stuff, so. And we got the ball kind of down down there towards our own goal line, so it was a big it was a big play. We got a question on the left side, two rows back. Bryce Cherry, Waco Trib, Terrell, uh, coach just mentioned it that obviously you guys are disappointed. You wanted to win this game, but uh, he said he told you guys not to hang your heads. Uh, I mean, what's what's the the feeling right now in the locker room? And do you feel like you know a few weeks down the road? guys will be able to regroup and attack whatever bowl game you get yeah definitely I know I know we'll come back and be ready for our bowl game but this one hurts um, obviously I mean just this group of seniors this coaching staff all these guys you just want to you want to go out there and win the game for them and uh, we came up a little short so obviously it's it's very painful got a question on the aisle left side Jerry Hill, Baylor Bear Insider. Jordan, uh, can you talk about that interception? What did you see? And and maybe, you know, again, it was kind of a big momentum shift for you guys to kind of, I think that tied it up when they scored. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we, had a, we had a zone drop, and uh, I seen uh, number two, he fell down. And he got him to start running, and I just kept dropping, and he threw the ball right to me. So it was a big, it was a big game changer because we flipped the field, and we didn't, you know, we didn't have to drive the whole field. We were on the 40 or something. So I mean, that was a big momentum swing, and I mean, we try to play for the offense and we try to get the ball back to them and to let them make, go make plays. So uh, I feel like that was just a part of our defense. Questions for our student on the left side, on the outside. It is Tyler Palmett here with the Norman Transcript for Jordan. I'm just curious. I know this these two games haven't come out the way you guys wanted them to this year, but they were they ended up being a couple of really classics just from a football standpoint. What do you think you'll maybe look back on or remember about the way these two games were played from that general standpoint maybe someday? Right. Uh, I mean, playing against OU is always a good challenge because, you know, it gets to see how good we really are. And, I mean, uh, the game didn't go the way we wanted it to today and, and the last time. <coughs> but, uh, I mean, we're – I feel like that is a testament to what type of defense and what type of players and what type of culture we built here. And I mean, uh, just going off of that, it's, it's a good way to go into next year to be able to look forward to that and be ready and not come into the game thinking we're not supposed to be there because we, we deserved every right to be here today. We got a question on the outside left. <coughs> Paul Jones, NBC5 here in Dallas-Fort Worth. Jordan, what makes Matt Rule such a good head coach in your opinion? Uh, he never he never allows us to be complacent. He never allows us just to be okay with just being good. He wants us to be great, and not in just football, like in life. Like he wants to push us to be better men, better fathers, better everything. And so, like, it, 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 he lets it be the players' team, and we led the team a lot this year. It was kind of like he gave us the team, and we kind of just pushed the culture that he was standing for. And and I mean, just kept grinding and just kept pushing us. And he taught us the process and just how to keep getting better every day. 
Question on the second row, right side. Jarell, uh, Shahan J. Raja, textfootball.com. Um, what do you think you gain from this game, just from the experience of, of playing on the Big 12 championship game stage, and how do you think that impacts the team heading into 2020 and beyond? Um, I think it gives it gives our young guys kind of kind of insight of what we have to do to get here and then what we have to do to win. Um, I mean, just playing in the game was a big deal for us from where we've come from. And then just like, like I said, our young guys, um, letting them know that this is what it takes to get here. We had a question on the front row left. Uh, DJ Ramirez, Baylor, Lariat, Terrell. What did it mean for you all to have Clay Johnston out there as one of your captains at the beginning of the game? Yeah, that was huge. That's something we had talked about um, all week. Clay obviously is our leader, like one of our leaders. Um, I mean, I feel so sorry for him that he couldn't play in this game, but having him out there as a captain shows what kind of what kind of leader he is and what kind of person he is. Question against the wall on the right side. Jay, ready? Yep. James, describe trying to contain <clears throat> Jalen Hurts in the running game, which you guys did, but it just seemed to like slip away on certain plays. Um, you never could quite stop him, I guess, in the end. Yeah, um, like I said, we knew their offense. They have a lot of weapons, and it's kind of hard to focus on one thing. You got receivers, quarterback, their old line's good as well. And uh, we had a good game plan. It's just it ended up they just made one more play than we did, and, and that's kind of how the game fell. And, and I'm proud of the way we played, but it's things right now. Got a question on the front left. Uh, James, what specific adjustments uh, did you make to contain Hurts from the Waco loss to today, and um, how do you continue to use today's experience for whatever bowl game you may be in against another probably highly ranked team? Yeah, um, as I keep saying, Jalen Hurts is uh, one of the best quarterbacks in the, in the country. So uh, after playing him, you kind of realize what we have to do to make sure we can contain him and, and try and contain him. And we did at times today, and also we didn't do it at times today. So we still got a lot to, to learn. And uh, playing in this game helped us grow a lot as a team. As much as it hurts right now, it's going to help us a lot. Question on the second row. James, uh, set the, you'd already set the career mark, two sacks today, single season record. What do those records mean? And, and may, maybe it doesn't mean as much today, but you setting all the sack records. Yeah, um, today, I mean, obviously, I'm not focused on any of that right now. But uh, it's, it's a great honor for me to, to have that next, next to my name, that title. So, I mean, I'm not complaining at all, but I'm not really focused on any of that right now. It's kind of more worried about this game and then where we're going to end up and make sure we finish the season the right way for these seniors. This final question for our student athletes. Uh, after playing Oklahoma the first two years and, and having some trouble against them, to now be here in a position where you know, you, you're a, a few seconds away really in both games from winning each of these games. I mean, how much does it say about the, the progress that you guys have made just as a defense and then as a program as well? Um, I don't think many people realize in the country that this team is the toughest in the country because we've been through more than anybody that you can ever imagine. The things that we've gone through our freshman year, things that have been said to us, people just thinking that we just don't belong here. So um, it made us have that little chip on our shoulder and, and make people realize like who we are and it made us work, and, and it wasn't enough today, but it will be soon enough. Um, like Terrell said, it, 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 it's going to push our younger guys forward. It's going to make them grow up and make them understand like what, what it's going to take to get here. And uh, I just think that we're going out. We got to go out and we got to push for one and all. I mean, like we got to go next week. I mean, it hurts this week and everything, but it's a, it's a cornerstone, and we're going to learn from it. And just the program is going to keep building. Guys, what was the reaction like when Charlie went down and you knew he was not going to return? And I guess the second part to that question, just your thoughts when Gary and Jacob both came in and, and had the successes that they did. Uh, I mean, we really didn't know that Charlie had went down until like, late in the game. But as soon as we seen Gary out there or Zeno, we, we just was like, let's go. It's next up. I mean, that's what we preach here. Uh, you play like a starter and you act like a starter. And then when it's your time, it's no drop off. It's just next man up. Okay, 